The super awesome material graphene wants to bring you more power and keep it charged longer. And Nvidia is just kind of like, eh, our stuff don't work. Sorry. These are today's bits. Graphene. It's a super awesome material, kind of got the spotlight a few years ago. It's got a lot of implications to it, but nothing real practical as of yet. Well, we're gonna add on top of that where this guy out of Switzerland actually came out with a paper and said that, hey, we can actually produce more than twice the amount of electricity in the same amount of space that a standard solar cell uses, which is pretty cool because that's gonna amp up our solar production if it ever gets produced. So definitely something to look forward to, to there. On top of that, graphene has a way of being a super capacitor, kind of like a super battery, and holding tons of electricity for a lot longer. But the only problem is the production cost of turning graphene into this super capacitor thing is basically way too expensive. Now they found a way to actually deep fry graphene of sorts and get the same outcome of the super capacitor that you would from the super expensive way. It's pretty cool but we're still a few years away from seeing that in anything today just because, well, it's brand new and they haven't perfected it yet, but it's cool nonetheless. And Nvidia's, their 970 GPU, come to find out their four gigabytes of advertised memory is not all usable. And when it was brought to light and kind of everyone started poking at it, Nvidia released a big, long, complicated paper with all these numbers saying, hey, it's technically there, but most people usually don't use it. So, eh, sorry. Well, at least that's what I got from it. I'm paraphrasing, of course. I don't know what they're going to do from here. I don't know if they're going to fix it or uh, I don't really know what they're going to do. But uh, yeah, that's where they're at. If you like this video, please click like below and don't forget to subscribe.